So this year we have four ensembles. That's a lot. Now we thought it long and hard about, well, how should we handle this winter concert? Each group plays two, three charts. That should take us well into Saturday. <laughs> so we decided to not do that. And we're going to combine the concert band one and the concert band two. And at this point, I would like to bring up Mr. Jeffrey Radens, who will conduct the first piece called Winter Carnival. How's it region tonight? So, before we start this piece, there's a, a great backstory behind it, and those of you who were with us last year uh, know about it. And it's such a great story, I, and I have to tell it. Um, and it goes with you know, the history of music and, and the importance. Um, as you all know, uh, just last year, uh, San Marcos High School celebrated their 50th anniversary of school. Um, just just in time to tear down the school and build a new one, um, which is coming along just nicely. Um, so, one of the things that we have, and we have a, a large library of very, we'll say, eclectic music. Um, in that, we'll have pieces that uh, really no one's ever seen before, um, and a very large volume of music hits um, from movies in the early 70s, um, which doesn't really work for us so much. But, in looking for our holiday concert music last year, I came across this piece called Winter Carnival. Um, I figured, well, it's holiday and winter time, and so I figured maybe I'll look at it. And usually when I find a new piece that I've never heard of before, I will go online, I'll search on YouTube, I will search anything I can find to just try and find recording. Like, well, what does this sound like? I can look at the music, but it's a lot easier to just listen to it. And I had a very difficult time finding any trace of this music, and I looked everywhere. Um, so far that I actually went and I looked at the publisher, I went to that publisher's webpage, I called them up. Um, according to that publisher, not only does this piece not exist, but the composer basically might as well not have been alive ever, right? So we're past the point of no longer being published, it's just totally gone from the records. Um, so I'm pretty safe, other than the people who were here last year, that it hasn't been heard in, in quite a long time. Um, and I do have a record of that. The first band director at San Marcos High School back in 62 and 63 had a habit of writing the year that he played a piece. And so there's lots of stuff you go to the library and it's like, oh, this year, this year, this year. Um, so this piece was published in 1962, which is just after the school was built, and it was last performed, other than last year, in 1963. So cutting edge, brand new music at the time. And then it disappeared into our library for decades, quite literally. And uh, what it does show us is that, regardless of time, good pieces of music are still just good, great pieces of music to listen to. So this is Winter Carnival. And as I told that story, I probably should tell you the composer's name. His name is Hugh M. Stewart.
So it's at this time I would like to uh, bring to the stage um, for his debut conducting experience with San Marcos High School, uh, Mr. James Rogers. Excellent, thank you very much. Like Mr. Raiden said, uh, I'm in my sixth year here with San Marcos High School, very proud to say. And um, it is awesome working with these students um, over the years. Uh, it's wonderful that we get the opportunity to be able to work with these students from them being freshmen all the way to seniors. And it's even a phenomenal thing just to see the freshmen go from that introverted, you know, freshman when you guys all start at Summer Music Academy to where you are now, where we can't get you to shut up. You know? <laughs> And uh, it's fantastic. I'd really uh, like to thank Mr. Radin along with Mr. Armstrong for giving me the opportunity to be able to work with these students. They're fantastic directors. Give it up for them. Awesome. And of course, um, thanking you, the parents who have raised these uh, kids, uh, these young adults. They're fantastic. Um, majority of them, anyway. Uh, no, they are. They're, they're absolutely awesome uh, kids. Um, on a note that I've actually been able to uh, keep away from um, a lot of people is I've recently gotten married. I got married in July. <laughs> My parents thought it never going to happen. Um, she is beautiful and wonderful, and uh, it is awesome that uh, she agreed to marry me because my life has completely changed, and it's wonderful to be married. It's an awesome thing to be married, guys. <laughs> and on that, the announcement is that come band camp this next year, we're going to have a baby. Actually, that one away. That's right, I'm going to be a dad now, so. Right now. Cool. I do not have uh, as cool of a story as Mr. Raiden does. I arranged this next chart, uh, Carol of the Bell, simply because it's an awesome little chart. And when we were talking about, hey, what, what pieces do you want to play and all that sort of thing, he said, do you guys want to play Carol of the Bells? And their response was, heck no, no. Their response was, ah, yay, you know, that kind of thing. So uh, without uh, any more kind of stalling out, um, this is Carol of the Bells, a fantastic tune that is long known and arranged by myself. Thank you very much.